hi guys i'm karen and you're welcome to another video and today i have this new new to me this is the very bad by elf and i'm going to create four looks using this bite size palette and let's see what i think about this palette at the end of these four looks so i'm going to pop in the four looks now and i'll be back after these four looks and we'll do swatches and i'll give you my final review for this bite size palette by elf so keep on watching look number one is right up Today I'm using this guy by e.l.f. This is the Bite Side Eyeshadow in the shade Berry Bad. I'll open it. This is how it looks like. Let's create an eye look. Zoom in. Yeah. Okay. Starting with the lightest shade as a transition shade. Let's see if there's fallout. There is fallout. Keep that in mind. So I'm just adding it to the crease. Just above my crease to be exact. Same shade above the crease, like that. Now I'm going to take the second darkest, which is this shade here, the pink shade, this guy here, and repeat at the crease. Make it a bit darker. taking my flat brush and I'm using the darkest shade, the berry shade, look how pretty. I'm curious to see if these three dollar palettes are worth the hype. They were so hyped in 2020 and i'm so curious to see if they are worth the hype so i'm just adding it to the outer corner dipping it like that creating a kind of triangle form some kind of hmm, what a beautiful berry tone Okay, so in the middle I'm going to use this coppery shade here. Yeah. Which is a bit darker than usually, so I'm not going to add it to the entire inner corner, just to the middle. In the corner I will add something light. a highlighter or something because I don't want to use a different palette just this palette so I added it with my finger to the middle and I'm just going to take a highlighter I'm using this one by the bomb and I'm taking a pencil brush and just taking the shimmer shade the highlighter shade sorry and edit it to the inner corner like that just to give it a bit of light and not to make a very dark look
yeah okay so because you know it's an everyday look i'm keeping my under eye area bare i'm just going to pop in some mascara this is the essence lash princess false lash effect and i will be back with the final result this is the final look using the bite size by elf this was the berry bed so a beautiful berry palette so far i like it i just wish they had a lighter shimmer in the palette so i won't have to go and use a highlighter hmm. okay so first look using the elf bite size that's it Let's go to look number two. Look number two with Berry Bad by e.l.f. And I'm going to start with the lightest shade as a transition shade in the crease. So I'm just taking it on a crease brush and applying it above my crease. If you don't have hooded eyes, apply it directly in the crease. Depends on the shape of your eye. So, yeah, this is it. Okay, next up I'm going to take this beautiful berry shimmery color with my finger and apply it all over the lid just like that it's not sticking even though I did apply the base so let's add a bit of more of the base I'll add more of the base. I don't know why it doesn't stick. I'm using the MAC paint pod. So I will add some more to both eyes. And I hope it will stick better. Okay, I'm going back to the berry with my finger. It's a shimmery berry color. So I'm just taking it with my finger. Up with a beautiful shade and I'm tipping it okay now it's better tipping it all over the lid like so on the other side as well Here I have more color than here. Strange. Okay. It's smeared. I don't know, it doesn't look the same. Okay, so this is the third coat. Yeah, okay, so third coat was okay. And I'm just taking the darkest shade and adding it a tiny bit to the outer corner just for depth. Tiny just like that looks similar to look number one even though look number one was a bit different I'm going to add 
from the dark shade to the inner corner as well. Tiny bit more on the outer end. I thought that if I'll create different, different techniques then the look will look different but kind of look the same. Just buffing it. My brush. What do you think? look the same. Let's add from the bronzy shade to the middle of the lid like that. Nothing. Well, look at these beautiful swatches. So it swatches beautifully. But it doesn't perform very well on the lid, kind of look the same, whatever I'm doing. Let's add some of the leftovers to the lower lash line, like that. Okay, so I'll pop in some mascara and I will be right back. Well, I'm back with, look, with mascara, so this is look number two similar to look number one but deeper and i added color to the lower lash line okay so what do you think about look number two okay so this is look number two and we'll see each other in a minute for look number three. Look number three with the Berry Bad by e.l.f. And today, well, I'm going to apply the lightest shade on my entire lid. Just like so. So it's going to cover also the crease and the entire lid. Like that. Yep. And I need to re-dip so many times because this color is very light for me. If you are have a lighter complexion than me, then you might not need so much. Okay, next up I'm going to take this color here. Where is my brush? Here. I'm going to take the coppery shade here and apply it to my outer corner just like that and I'm going to add it halfway like that so in the outer corner until the halfway mark of the lid. If there is such a mark, I don't know, I'm just inventing some kind of mark. But you know, until you get to the half point. Now this palette exists for, I think, more than a year. 
but I just got it and it's new for me so I'm trying to create as many looks as I can with this palette and I'm trying to make each one unique but the variety of colors here kind of makes it impossible so I don't know if it's going to be look number four <laughs> okay so now uh, I'll take a tiny bit from with my finger from the third color here and add it to the inner corner but nothing I need to add you know, it swatches beautifully but you it has I have to apply additional coat of base for it to show up I don't know it's a sticky surface otherwise nothing and I already apply this all over my lid so it's not like I haven't applied on my lid the base I'm just reapplying it where I want eyeshadow of course okay so let's go back to the berry color here shimmery color and tap it now you can see that the shades are so similar and look how much fallout there is So even with the base, I don't get a lot of cover from this berry tone. Just a lot of fallout look here. And I already did my concealer. Okay. Just reapplying a bit more. Look at the swatch. The swatch is magnificent. Look at that. So beautiful. But on the eyelid, it doesn't work. I don't know why. And I have ton of fallout. So I need to correct it. So I'm just using my damp sponge that I just used to apply my foundation. And it kind of monochromatic even though I did use the copper shade. Let's reapply it. I don't know. I'll reapply it to the outer corner. Okay, and I'm going to take from ColourPop the Super Shock Lady Bird, which looks like that, and just add a tiny bit to the inner corner. I really feel like I'm missing something light in the inner corner. Ho oh, oh, ho, this was uh, too much, but I have to even it up. Okay, can you see on this side how much? Okay. Too much <laughs> it looks ridiculous <laughs> let's 
should about fake the way of it. Okay, let's take the buffing brush. I don't like how it turned ah, out. What do you think? It looks like I applied one shade, but it's all I did. I'm going to add the be the darkest shade, the dark berry shade with an angled brush to the lower lash line. Just like that. Okay, so just added a line to the lower lash line. Okay, so I'm going to pop in mascara. I'm using my Maybelline Colossal Big Shot and I'll be right back. This is the final look with the mascara on. This is look number three. Okay, so this was look number three. Look number four using Berry Bad by e.l.f. And today I'm creating a halo. So I'm taking a brush and dipping into the darkest shade. And let's see if there's fallout. Yeah, a tiny bit of fallout. So I'm just adding it to my outer corner on this side, tapping it. And I'm tapping it, wait, fall out on the other side. Tiny bit of, tiny bit more. Didn't take off the access. Like that. On the other side as well. Okay, and now I'm going to take a pencil brush and apply it the same. Okay, that almost fell <laughs> and closed. And taking the same shade, the darkest one, on a pencil brush and added it to the inner corner. I want to create a halo. Don't remember if I said that, that I want to create a halo. Did I? Well, I'll see that in editing, I guess. <laughs> I don't remember. Okay, so I'm just adding it to the inner corner. And on the other side as well. In Halo, you take a dark shade usually and apply it on both sides. In corner and outer corner and in the middle you add something lighter now I'm going to take my buffing brush and just go over it like that And now I'm going to take the berry shade. No, it would be too dark. I wanted to take the berry. But this one is a matte. Okay, we'll take the berry. I think that if this palette had a lighter shimmer, it would be better. So now I'm adding the berry shimmer to the middle. Like that. And it's not applying well with my finger. So maybe, look how beautiful it is on my hand. This is a beautiful 
beautiful berry shade look at that this is so beautiful but on my i don't know my lid it's not working so let's take a brush and i'll let's wet it with a setting setting spray maybe it will be better i don't know let's, let's try dipping into the same berry shade Okay, and I'm applying it to the middle of the lid. A bit more foil, definitely better. But still, I think if we had a lighter shimmer in this palette it would be better now I have to add something to the lower lash line but before that I'm going to go back to my brush and diffuse the edges soften the edges let's add some more I think like Okay, I don't know, don't like it so much. Let's take an angled brush and take from the berry shade, the darkest berry shade, to the outer corner of my under eye area, like that. So I'm combining. From the outer corner the inner corner halfway not all the way halfway in the same on the other side halfway and then connecting it okay let's take off the axis on the back of my hand because I want to take the light light color let's take the matte color the light matte color, the lightest shade, this one, and add it to the inner corner, like that. Okay, that's it. I'm going to add some mascara and I'm using let's take this one my essence lash princess false lash effect and I'll do that and be right back back with mascara so this is the final look look number four with berry bed by elf bite size eyeshadow palette Okay, so that was look number four. Let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below. Yup. And we'll jump back to summarize these four looks. Okay, so you're back after four looks and this is the final look that I created. This is look number four the halo let's swatch first and then I'll give you my review on this palette so this is how the palette looks like and we'll start with the lightest shade and I'll apply it here so one look at this beautiful bronze shade let's switch fingers three and the darkest one four so the swatches are beautiful 
Mm. The finger swatches are beautiful and I was really really excited to finally get my hand on these palettes. I wasn't able to buy them so they can ship to where I live without paying a lot of money for shipment and you know they're three dollars and paying a lot of money on shipping is kind of you know doesn't make any sense. So when it was on High Herb, I bought four of these and this is the first one I tried. And the swatches are beautiful, magnificent. But all the four looks that I created look almost the same. Especially the first, the first three ones were basically the same. And after a few hours, everything dissolved and mixed and it looked like the same it looked the same so it was very very hard to create four different looks and the fact that we don't have a light shimmer shade in this palette is very very annoying because you have to dip into something else to get that shimmer on your inner corner i didn't do that today but i usually do that in my other looks and I love adding a light color to the inner corner, to the tear dot, and I couldn't because there is no shimmer, which is light. You have the berry tone shimmer and the bronzy shade shimmer, and they're both beautiful, but on the eyelid they look the same, and I find that it's very hard to uh, use the shimmers with your fingers because... I don't know, they don't stick even though I apply all four looks. I use the paint pot by MAC and usually when I use Colourpop, for example, it looks fantastic. But the shimmers, I don't know, I had to use a wet brush for the shimmers and I don't like that. I like applying the shimmers with my finger. It's easier, it's faster, very easy and simple to just take your finger and dab it top, 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 top and you're ready. And I couldn't do that with these because they don't stick to the primer so maybe i have to try with a different primer will work better on this one but mac paint pot is my favorite and i really like it and i think that i don't have a, this kind of problem with color pop yeah color pop is more expensive than elf but you know if you have to work so hard to get a good look from this palette then maybe i shouldn't have bought it i don't know well i have another three to examine and see if i like so i'll try creating four looks from each palette and next one will be this beautiful guy here which is called cream and sugar so this is the next palette i'm going to review and create looks with which looks really really beautiful yeah it looks the pretty pretty palette so i'll create the four looks and i'll show them to you and share my thoughts but about the berry i don't know i kind of regret buying it at, uh, to be honest with you so you know it's just three dollars but maybe spend these three dollars on something else this is my opinion. I was really, really disappointed. Okay, so this is it. This is my review on the Elf Bite Size. Uh, pfft, very bad. I always forget the name. So, Very Bad by Elf. This was my review. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like this series of me creating four looks and then sharing my thoughts about the palette, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll be happy to do more, maybe with my Colourpop palettes or other palettes that I have. You already know the palettes that I have if you've been watching me. Uh, let me know. Comments down below. <laughs> okay, and this is it from me. I enjoyed making this video. I think it helped me understand that the hype over the elf was maybe exaggerated. Well, I have to review the other ones that I have and then I will have my conclusion and of course I will share that with you. Okay, enjoyed, thumbs up and I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye!